Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming a get unready with me, I guess that's what you'll call it. Um, I'm testing out these two new products by Urban Decay. This is the dissolving spray and this is the makeup meltdown remover cleansing oil stick. So if you guys are interested in seeing how these products work and seeing me get unready, then I guess go ahead and keep on watching, but make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up if you like it, and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and keep on watching if you guys want to see me look like a hot fucking mess. Okay, so getting this started, I'm going to go ahead and just pop off these lashes. Now, I just filmed, oh shit, that glue is on there good. Oh, if you guys use that damn duo glue, the one with the green bottle or like green writing to it, this one right here, you guys know this shit stays on big time. Anyway, so I took that off. Now, I just filmed a review for the Saucebox Mermaid Life palette, so hopefully that'll be up within the next couple days after this video is up. This is the palette that I'm talking about, just in case you guys are wondering. So, I changed up my lip color right now because I wanted to put on something a little bit more heavy and something that stays on a little bit more because I wanted to test these out and see how good they are. Now, both of these are $26. I'm going to go ahead and start with the spray right here. Now, this is $26, but I will say I got it at Ulta, and they have like a good deal. So I had a 20% off coupon and then when you sign up for the credit card you get an additional 20% off. So I basically got like 40% off of this and I think it was like, don't quote me because I'm fucking stupid, um, maybe like $18 or something like that. So I mean I guess that's a decent price compared to $26. So this one right here, oh this is by Skinanavia so it should be good because I love Skinanavia's products. It says you can't get enough of our long lasting products but how the hell do you take them off? Don't have a fit, use Meltdown instead. This powerful yet gently spray mist on, on weightlessly and starts, I'm fucking slow, and starts working on contact to instantly dissolve even the most stubborn waterproof makeup in one swipe. No rubbing or tugging or on delicate skin. Our, I'm not even gonna try to say this word cause you guys, no, I can't fucking read. And that's like a weird word, it's like, and hydras, I, I don't fucking know. Filler free formula contains only three ingredients including conditioning vitamin E. It says direction, spray on to cotton ball and wipe away makeup. Okay, my thing with this is why does it say spray on to cotton ball? Like couldn't it have been in any other type of container rather than a spray? Considering this is a spray, it's like you wanna just take it and spray it on your face. So that's what I'm gonna do with this. I don't give a fuck if it says to just spray it on a cotton ball. I'm just spraying it on my face. Now, the oil stick says, you can't get enough of Urban Decay's long lasting products, but how do you take them off? With Meltdown Makeup Removing Cleansing Oil Stick, formulated to remove easily the most stubborn waterproof makeup. Yes, even Vice Liquid Lipstick. Let's keep it real, Urban Decay. Vice Liquid Lipstick is fucking shitty. That is the worst liquid lipstick on the market. It comes off on its own, like, Actually, it has to go on in order for it to even come off. And if you guys have tried that damn lipstick, you guys know that shit don't stay on, it don't go on, it's patchy. Anyways, we're not talking about that, sorry. I'm just like, why is that in there? Because that's like the worst liquid lipstick ever. Anyways, this cleansing oil stick is powerful as it is gentle. Non-irritating, nour nourishing ingredients leave the skin clean, refreshed, and without a trace of makeup. Meltdown hydrates, yet never leaves a greasy residue. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one side with a stick. I'll go ahead and start off with a stick first. And then I'm going to take my makeup wipes to like remove them. Now I think it says to like wash it away. But normally like you guys know I'm a fucking hot mess. So when I get home after the club, a bitch is drunk as fuck. I do something quick and easy just to get this makeup off. And yes, no matter how fucking drunk I am, I wipe off my makeup. My makeup. I literally could be fucked up like room spinning fucked up. And I'm still going to take off my makeup only because I feel like gross with it. So now I have used this one before so the color looks a little dingy as you guys can tell where the fuck is my mirror so I'm gonna go ahead and do my right side with this I'm just gonna go ahead and like go oh my makeup looks so pretty oh oh well here we go I'm gonna go ahead and just take it on I'm gonna go ahead and rub it on and then I'm gonna like rub it in my skin you know what I will say it does smell amazing oh fuck I went hard with that it smells amazing it smells like apple I was expecting it to like smell like coconut oil because I'm like this seems like a total coconut oil type of thing. So let me just rub that on in. So it does get, you know, obviously really messy on there. But I'm going to go ahead and just rub it in my skin. Now I will tell you guys, well I'm sure you guys know if you guys have me on Snapchat. I turn red as hell. So don't think that this product is irritating my skin. It's just that my skin is like super, super red. So just preparing you guys for when I wipe this all away 
my foundation for some reason today looked so fucking good. Like, do you ever just have those days where it looks so good and I'm like, I don't wanna wipe it off, but gotta take this shit off because I'm about to go get me some Taco Bell. So I am just rubbing and rubbing just to make sure the product is everywhere before, oh fuck, maybe you're not supposed to get this by your eye. Oh yeah, maybe you're not supposed to get it by your eye because it's burning a little bit. Oh fuck, I should read the instructions better. Oh my gosh, is there a warning on here? It doesn't say on here to avoid the eye area. No, ooh, maybe it's just my eyes are being sensitive today. Woo, it's burning my eye. Oh my gosh, if you guys have sensitive eyes, don't get this shit in your eye. Oh, I gotta wipe this. Oh, 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 it's like burning the fuck out of my eye. Oh my Jesus. Oh shit. Okay, honestly, you guys, I'm used to using coconut oil. Like this is the coconut oil I normally use to remove my makeup. And I kind of feel like this is just like it, except the coconut oil does not burn my eye. Ooh, shit, this shit is burning. Oh my God. Oh my God, can you see how red my eye got? I mean, not like, don't pay attention to my red ass skin, but look at my eye. Ooh. Oh my God, it's cooling on down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take my wipe and just wipe this. Oh, and it does take off all the makeup. Oh shit, I seared my lipstick. Don't pay attention to that either. Oh, this is still burning. I feel like it should say on there, like, don't get on your eyes. I mean, maybe I'm missing it, but I feel like I read, yeah, I read this all. There's no little warning, there's just directions. Yeah, it does not say on there to avoid the eye area. Fuck me, this is like burning so bad. Oh, Ooh. you guys, do you see how red my eye is getting? Like, what? The fuck? Okay, I don't know if it's just my eyes being super sensitive, but do not get this by your eye. I feel like it removed my makeup bomb. Like, just one swipe of the wipe took it right off. But I will say that fucking regular ass coconut oil does that. And this costs $6. And this is uh, 15 ounces. And this stick is only 1.5 ounces. So, or 1.58 ounces, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have not had burning on my eye like that in like so bad. Ooh, since I got my damn face wash in my eye, that's like how long it's been and that's just benzoyl peroxide. <sighs> okay, now I put on this lipstick because I wanted to test this, like just wipe it on there because I did see in store that they do have a um, liquid lipstick remover, which looks like a little chapstick. And I'm like, I'm sure this could do the same thing. So why don't I just, Go ahead and try it with this. Fuck it, let's go ahead and see. Hopefully it doesn't, you know what? I'm gonna make sure it doesn't get in my mouth because after that burnt my eye the way it did, clearly I'm sensitive to it or I don't know, something. I don't fucking know. I feel like they should put on there, it should avoid the eye area because even if you are sensitive to stuff like this, it should just say avoid eye area just to keep everyone safe. But anyways, let's go ahead and test this out on my lips and see how it does there. Okay, so it took a lot off on there. Now I'm just gonna rub this in. You know what, let me rub off all the excess shit first because this is a hard lipstick to take off. So I was like really putting this shit to the test, but considering it's $26, like this shit better work good, you know? Just wiping off the excess product now. Wanna make sure I don't swallow that after it burnt the fuck out of my eye. I will say that it did remove that pretty good considering that was a orange liquid lipstick, like, and you guys know, if you guys have an orange liquid lipstick, that shit's hard to get off. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the dissolving spray. Now with this, it does say to spray it on a cotton ball, like I said earlier, but I'm just gonna spray it on, and this doesn't say avoid eye area either. So, I don't know, like I feel like I'm missing something, because normally it'll have like a little warning section, but it just says directions. Spray onto cotton ball and wipe away makeup. And there is literally nothing else on this box anywhere. So, I don't know if I'm just tripping or what, but you guys let me know if you guys see it somewhere else. But I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I keep my eyes closed on this one. I'm just gonna shake it just in case. And I'm going to spray it on and wipe it off with my makeup wipe. And just in case you guys are wondering, these are the bootleg makeup wipes that I use from uh, Walmart. They're literally like, I think $5 for 120. I fucking love them, honestly. So let's go ahead and spray this on. I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm a little bit scared now. Let me just spray it down here first. Oh, shit. Oh this, oh, this is weird. Like, it feels warm. 
Okay, this has a weird feeling. Like, it almost feels like I'm spraying on, I don't know, like, I don't know. It doesn't feel like water, if that makes any sense. Oh, shit. I guess a lot of products came out. Oh, my gosh. Holy shit, I really don't feel like I sprayed on a lot of product. And look at my face. It's almost as if, like, the spray just... I don't know, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit on there for a bit and see if it just eats away the makeup. Okay, so it's literally taking away my shadow right there, which is like super fucking cool. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe with my wipe. Oh my gosh. Yeah, one swipe of this, it just takes it. Oh, even the shadow, oh my gosh. And I had glue down on my eyes too. Okay, that is bomb this the spray is definitely better than the um than the stick like i'm literally amazed at this it's just like one wipe one wipe and it's all gone and normally like if i just use my wipes to remove my makeup i have to go back and forth and back and forth on it but with this it's just like one swipe Yes. Okay, that I really, really like. All right, guys, so I got my makeup all removed. Now, to give you guys my final thoughts, I will definitely say I feel like this is just like coconut oil, except coconut oil is way cheaper and it doesn't burn the fuck out of my eyes. Make sure if you guys do decide to get this, watch out for your eye. Like, literally, look at my eye. Like, don't make the same mistake that I did by getting it around my eye. It literally hurts so bad. But um, the spray... I absolutely love the spray. I will say on both sides, like my skin feels extra, extra soft. I'm assuming because it does have the vitamin E in it. But the spray was amazing. Like, I don't know how many sprays I did, maybe four or five, and just wiped it all away instantly. The stick, I feel like you do have to put a little bit of work into it. And I do feel, like I said, it's just like coconut oil. So... I personally wouldn't purchase that again, like I said, just because it's like the damn coconut oil. I said that like 15 times, but... Just to reiterate it, you know, um, I will definitely purchase this again because that literally just works so good and I love it. So, yes, I hope you guys like this little get unready with me video. It's something a little bit different and to show you guys the new products on the market. Um, yeah, anyways, if you guys want to see any other videos, please let me know down in the comment section below. You guys know I do all your requests. So let a bitch know what you guys want to see. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout.